Question five. <laughs> Does patenting your science in order to commercialise inhibit your ability to publish in the scientific press? So, Kev, I think you'll take that question. <laughs> There is an onus on uh, impact and actually delivering things to the clinic in this project and um, we've been very focused on that and I think uh, as I heard that question I was thinking of all the different publications that are now coming from the group where we are and actually writing the patents has actually helped the publications. Um, in the natural, you know, natural evolution of writing, uh, uh, looking at the IP position, looking at the competitors, it makes you write a better paper. Um, so I would turn that around and say, actually, the quality of the paper is much better having done the patenting. I think that uh, we also gain from meeting you know, experienced patent attorneys um, and really at a high level going through the depth of the information. So I don't think it has hindered. Um, Mark may want to take that question again, but I, don't, I think, if anything, it's been positive and productive. And actually, now what's happening is we are getting the culture within the group of identifying innovation which actually is a key thing. So they said, that's a spark. Log that spark. <laughs> and before you'd have an idea, you just shelve, it's not going to work, but log that spark, because that spark can become an innovation, become a real product. So I think it's been positive.